Join me today as we visit the Charles B. Hall Air Park, which is just outside one of the main gates to Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma City. We are going to see some unique pieces of aeronautics history, unique pieces of Air Force history specifically here behind me. As you see, we got a B-1 Lancer directly behind me. I believe we have what might be a presidential transport airplane, as well as a few other unique pieces to look at. So join me as we take a look around and see what we see as we visit these airplanes just outside, pretty much on the property of Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma City. Here we have an A-7D Corsair II. I assume down on the wings here are where the bombs would be mounted, of which we currently have none. This is an F-105D Thunder Chief. Notice it has bombs on the belly as well as on the wings. This is a B-47 Stratojet. Notice that long wingspan. We've got a C-47 Skytrain. If anyone knows what this is used for, it looks like a passenger plane to me. If you know what this is used for, Please comment down below letting me know and everyone else who's viewing. This is an EA-6B Prowler. Now unique on this airplane, it looks like it has areas for bombs underneath the wings to drop, but I believe its primary mission was actually to jam the enemy's systems. Uh, if you know more, I would love to hear more. It sounds like this plane may have some unique missions behind it and different things that it does. and. As we see up on the nose here, it can do mid-air refueling as well. I will back up in a minute to look more at this airplane, but this is a C-135 Stratolifter. The C-135 Stratolifter was the first strategic jet transport purchased by the Air Force as an interim long-range cargo aircraft. The C-135 was flown primarily for priority governmental and military passenger airlift, weather reconnaissance, and general mission support. The versatile Boeing airframe had almost 40 variants developed with this KC-135 tanker as the most common. The C-135 and its various power plants have been core workloads for the Oklahoma City ALC since the late 1950s. Let's take a broader look at this. This to me looks like it would be one of the planes used as a Air Force One or as a president transporter, a presidential transporter I guess you would say. If you know more about this plane, once again, please fill in the details in the comments. The coloring on this one looks to me like it was supposed to be modeled for a presidential transport, but hey, I could be very wrong and you might just have the key details. This is an F-4D Phantom II. The F-4 was a tandem supersonic, long-range, all-weather fighter bomber built by McDonnell Douglas Corporation. Approximately 800 F-4D models helped provide the backbone of the U.S. Air Force fighter force during the war in Southeast Asia. This is a B-29 Super Fortress. Kind of a funny looking plane with that kind of rounded front end on it. And it's a prop type plane. I'll take a little bit more of a walk back in a minute. But the B-29 Super Fortress served proudly in the two major conflicts. During World War II, the Boeing built bomber was well suited for its long range role of attacking the Japanese homeland 
from distant bases once again thrust into battle in 1950, the aircraft was used effectively against targets in North Korea. Here we have a B-52 Strato Fortress. The B-52 Strato Fortress was one of the most durable aircraft in history. Conceived in the late 1940s, designed and built by Boeing aircraft in the 1950s, B-52s maintained continuous alert with nuclear devices and carried conventional weapons into battle. Over the years, the bombers were equipped with weapons of ever-increasing technology such as the Hound Dog and Quail missiles, the Short Range Attack Missile, and the Air Launched Cruise Missile. So this plane has quite the history to it. I do find it quite interesting that this was the most reliable or durable plane in history and yet nowadays it seems like Boeing can't make anything. So bizarre to me how that's happened to the Boeing company. This is a very large plane. Look at that wingspan on there. All right, check out this piece of history here. Notice this one here has the engines or air intakes underneath of the wings kind of tucked away, not like what you typically see out front and prominent. Much shorter wingspan, but pulled way back wingspan. So what we are looking at is the B-1 Lancer. Designed and manufactured by Rockwell International, the B-1B was a long-range supersonic bomber with the capacity for low-level, high-speed flight. Its variable, its variable sweep, 15 to 65 and a half degrees wings added to the aircraft's operating versatility. Both the aircraft and its General Electric F101 engines were a staple of the Oklahoma City Air Logistics Center's management and maintenance workload from the 1980s forward. So this one would be relatively new, given with how long the Air Force keeps aircraft flying. Well, that's going to wrap it up for our visit today at the Charles B. Hall Air Park. I hope you saw some unique airplanes here that you found fascinating. And if you have any details on any of these aircraft or anything about this Air Force base that we're on, I would love to hear about it in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can join me on more great adventures as we find more unique, fun things to explore, fun things to look at, fun things to discover. Thank you so much, and I hope you have an awesome day.